Morning all. Okay, let's start this morning with uh, some five minute games. Maybe later some 15 minute. I think it's good to mix it up. Um, by the way, tomorrow evening I will be doing uh, the King's Crusher radio show on the PlayChess.com server. So um, if you want to give me ideas for that show, it's an hour long. What what player to cover or games to cover? I've got an idea to carry on with the Kasparov, um games at Olympiads. I find those quite fascinating. Uh, Kasparov, one of the strongest players ever. But of course, we could also revisit Tal now and again. The most brilliant player ever, I think, in my opinion. Anyway, while we're waiting, also, um, okay, let's have a look at any title players to observe Igor. So playing two minute with two second increments actually, that's quite cool. Oh, I think White's getting crunched. <laughs> what does White do about D3 and he's a pawn spin? It's a nightmare. Oh, D3, Bishop E3, okay. There's Queen takes E3 if needed, and then D takes Queen. Okay, oh, yard bird. <laughs> the bird is the word. Okay, let's see. I'm going to. That's just I've had fantastically good results with recently. Um, just just trying to copy um, a recent uh, Soen disaster from the, from the um, from, from, from the U.S. Championship. Uh, so it goes to early knight e4 here, I think. And try and use that G file later. Uh, protects F2 in advance. Oh, he's stopping me casting Queen side here. Now I wonder about C4 here. There's Queen E4, Bishop E3, Bishop B4. Yes. So already he's set a, a problem. Uh, Okay, I'll play knight e5. Tempt him for either queen g2 or queen d4. Don't tell me there's bishop a3. Bishop c3. No. you got to be kidding me. Ah. That's so unfair. He's just nicked a pawn and he's getting rid of the queens. Oh, don't tell me he's got h5 as well. No, it hasn't been that brilliant this game. Oh well. <laughs> um, if he doesn't take that pawn, maybe g4, f4, g5 or something. g4, anyway, with something. If he does take that pawn, it'll be two pawns down. I'm hitting the bishop, protecting the knight. I think I do want to play g4 at some point. If he takes takes on g4, okay. Is the knight c4 here? Bishop f4 check. Knight g6 has moved for rookie six. It's king d7. Hmm. Okay. I'll go for c4 or something. If c5 maybe takes the rook, rook d5, no, that doesn't work either. <laughs> this is really sad. Ah, oh. cheeky nicking a pawn like that. How dare he? <laughs> Queen d5 first. Ah, oh. just nabs the d4 pawn. Alright, at least I know I've got this bishop to do something with. Potentially. Play bishop d6 there. Alright, so I want e6. I'm trying to pick this guy. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, right, 
I need to restrict that knight, I think. I'm just going to go to c8. Alright, some other plan. Bishop c5. Try and get into that 7th rank. So bishop... Try and dominate with... Uh, no, he plays rook d8 here. What have I done? No, no, I can win that pawn, then b6, then s b4. Alright, right, rook d8, I just take both rooks, bishop a7. Maybe just about holding on here with this move, bishop c5. I'm going to play an end game very fast in this game. Alright, so, restricted knight for a moment. Threat of bishop takes b6 and rook d7. In fact, this pawn's useful for something the king come out as well. And he's using a lot of time here, unusually. Hmm. If I just play a4 to avoid the a file counterplay. Mind you, rookie 8, is it my chance to take check? Takes. It's too much counterplay on. On there, let's just let's just keep the pressure on. I hope that's a good idea. He plays king e8, which is a bit of a worry. And rook d6 here. Right, so I've got a check to get onto that second rank. Has he messed this up big time? I hope so. Knight d7, bishop a3, even bishop d6. Knight's kind of restricted. Cool, I don't want him to play c5. I think he must be feeling a bit annoyed here. <laughs> What's this rook doing there? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't, I, can't, I can't help but laugh. He was pulled up for nothing. <laughs> the cruelty of it. The cruelty of this game. This poor knight. <laughs> the rook on the seventh. How did this happen? <laughs> right, knight b6. He's trying to get knight b6. What if I just play a5 to torture the knight? Am I being overly sadistic? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Maybe. Maybe I'll wait for knight b6, then a5, then rook g8. What is he doing there? I don't see what he's doing there. It looks diabolical. Yes! <laughs> sorry, 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 I'm sorry. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened. It was a mystery. Oh. He won his pawn. I don't know. It's really weird, this opening. It's like against some of the strongest players on the ICC. I lose a pawn, and it still doesn't matter in, in this line. I have no idea what's going on here. I've got this imbalance, okay, for the pawn. And bishop c5 happened to be a strong move. So I guess... He didn't want to play rook d8, because takes... Then takes, if the knight takes, you know, then there's the pin. Yeah, you know, like, just take... Or... This position maybe isn't pleasant because I've got a three to two. Oh, no, b4 here. And the knight's not looking. Well, can he just get his king over? That's the question. I get this dangerous pawn here. Just in time. You know, maybe c5 and bishop b6. But still, I think that's better than the game, isn't it? Okay, uh, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.